Well, after fighting extradition for more than two months, the man accused of killing his ex-girlfriend, a mother of three young children, faced a Washington judge for the first time today. Juan Gostellum is facing second-degree murder and rape charges. Crime 2's Kyle Simchuk is live at the Grant County Courthouse tonight with more on the hearing and an exclusive interview with the victim's family. Kyle, and we do want to warn you that some of the details from this case are extremely disturbing. Well, yeah, and we spoke with Yanira's sister. She has not been able to read through all those court documents because honestly, they're just too disturbing, too difficult to look at. Gastelum is also charged with second degree rape based on the disturbing pictures police say they found on his cell phone. It just, it just feels like a dream. Lanny Abundis never imagined burying her sister at just 30 years old. Yanira Sedios, a mom of three young children, was found in a remote area of Walla Walla County. Her family held a private viewing. A blanket covered her body. Her oldest daughter kept just saying, Mommy, I want you back, I want you back, and just kept grabbing her and just crying and crying and crying. Yanira was laid to rest a few days ago. This afternoon, her ex-boyfriend Juan Gastelum appeared in court, charged with rape and murder. Moses Lake police say Gastelum picked Yanira up on the night of her 30th birthday and drove her to her apartment. Police believe she was murdered within minutes, but Gastelum stayed for hours, taking pictures of himself sexually assaulting her, according to court documents. So everything that he did to her, she wasn't there. It was just her body. She didn't suffer any of that. Yanira's family are the ones left suffering, especially her three children. The youngest one, she has a disability, and we thought she wouldn't understand. She cries and she prays for Yanira, and she tells God to feed her, to keep her warm, to please bring her back. Abundis wants her sister's story shared in hopes that other victims of domestic violence can get out of unhealthy relationships before it's too late. Finding her and burying her isn't the end of it. We still have a long road ahead of us hoping to get justice for her. Now, the medical examiner has not said how Yanira died. However, Moses Lake police said they found a large hunting knife that Gastelum threw away at a gas station. Cadaver dogs detected human blood on it. Reporting live from the Grant County Courthouse, Kyle Simchuk, Krem 2 News.